Okay, and welcome to another Cool Dude Clem video. Now, I'm doing a follow-up to my previous video on the microphone preamp because I've gone and built another one, which is the one you're hearing from right now. And this one uses the SSM2019 preamplifier chip. And this is the circuit for it right here. Now, I'm going to try and keep this video short because, well, I think my videos are too long anyway. So, this is the circuit that I came up with, and I must say it seems to work pretty good. Sounds good. It's not much background noise. No hum, which is good. Although, strangely enough, I've had to place the microphone really strangely because the microphone itself, the element in the microphone itself, does seem to pick up a little bit of hum depending on where I put it. So, Putting the microphone right here seems to be about the quietest place in the room as far as interference is concerned. As you can see, there's pretty much almost nothing to it. So we've got our microphone element here and the two wires that connect it to the chip. We've got a couple of 10K resistors to bias the chip. This capacitor here to keep it all running stable because I found out that if you don't have that capacitor there, it'll do all kinds of weird things. So, and the gain is set by this 10 ohm resistor here. And I can switch in this 20 ohm resistor in parallel with it if I want a little bit more gain. So if I switch that resistor in, it becomes about 6.67 and we get a bit more gain. As I'm going to demonstrate now. So here's my little preamp being powered off batteries so now I'm gonna switch I'm gonna flip the gain switch and you should hear that things now have gotten a little bit louder but I'm gonna switch that back because that's probably overdriving things even though it's only about a 3 to 4 dB gain the way I've got everything set up right now that might have been overdriving the recording I'm not exactly sure but it might have been so the other thing you might have noticed is that even though this is working absolutely fine, we've got one wire here that's just flapping around in the breeze. Well, this is the ground wire. And what I was going to do was connect that between where the two batteries are connected, which is right here. But I found that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. It still works if I have that wire disconnected. So that's what I've done. So we know how good this preamp works. So let's compare that to my other preamp that I made and hear how that sounds. Okay, so this is my other microphone preamp, the one from the previous video. And I've made a little change to this. I've changed the op amp to an OPA2134. Plus, I've added this volume control between the chip's output and the output wire. Because this thing is rather sensitive but anyway doing this as a sound quality comparison test between this preamp and this preamp to see which one sounds better so anyway that's the end of this video so until next time goodbye